Today I'm going to show you how to get all of the fossil Pokemon with their hidden abilities without the ability patch or spending a single piece of Dynite Ore. So as many of you might know, with the introduction of the Crown Tundra, we also got access to a brand new item called the Ability Patch. Now you can find this in the Max Lair, talking to this NPC trader here, who will offer you the Ability Patch for a hefty price of 200 Dynite Ore. So it is very expensive and probably prices it out of a lot of people's plans with their Pokemon. You might have one of the starter Pokemon or a shiny Pokemon that you want to use it on, but at 200 Dynite Ore is a pop. That that's a lot of Dynamax Adventure Raids that you're going to have to grind through to get that amount. Now, one of the things that we have had introduced as well is a bunch of new dens in the Crown Tundra. And with those dens comes a lot of new goodies. Now, in today's episode, like I mentioned at the start of the video, I'm going to show you where you can get Dracovish, Dracozolt, Octovish and Octozolt in the Crown Tundra with their hidden abilities, along with a bunch of other hidden ability fossil Pokemon without the cost of any Dynat or, or an ability patch. So where would, do we need to go? We need to head up to the Snow Slide Slope. So if you fly here, what we want to be doing is making our way up to the top of this cave system here. And it's in the cave system where we're going to be locating this Max Raid Den. When you are here at this Snow Slide Slope, what you want to do is come into the tunnel to the top. Now, if you follow my directions, you shouldn't have too much issue finding this den. Now, it is a little bit difficult because you can 100% get lost in here. It is very windy and back and forth. But like I say, I'll try and guide the way as best I can. And uh, you'll be able to pause this video and kind of come back to it and stop and start it when you want to. So we need to be trying to make our way over to this direction because we need to find another little like exit um that'll take us out to like a snowy strip which looks like it's kind of going nowhere here but there is a path to the right and you want to take this cut down here and then this will bring you to another cavern and a salamence normally pops up here there's a wild spawn for a salamence there so if you guys are hunting salamence that's another way for you to get it and then it'll bring you out here and we are at the den so like i say it's pretty easy to find if you know the way but it can be quite tricky to find otherwise so this den here is the den that we are looking for you will need a purple beam uh, because the hidden ability fossil pokemon will not spawn in a regular rare beam so that's what the first step what we need to do so as in our old guides, we haven't done this for such a long time because we haven't really done dens. You want to save uh, in front of the den here. What you want to do is go to your options and then change your tech speed to slow. And you can change it to medium if you're a bit more versed with this. But for this example, I'm just showing you this. And to get a red beam, what you're going to do is just drop a wishing piece into here. And before the text finishes, you want to have your hand hovered over the home button because if it's not a purple beam, you want to reset the game and then come back to this spot. Okay. And it's not. So you can see there you've got a split second where it is just a, a red beam and we're looking for a purple beam. This is what you want to do. This is an old, an age old trick that we've had with Sword and Shield. I'm doing this for the benefit of you guys coming in that are new to the Crown Tundra or the Isle of Armor and you haven't really seen the guides on how to do this. So this is for your benefit only. I'm sure the rest of you will understand that this is a method that is quite important to this step. So bear with me while I do this and we're not going to go through the whole step. So when we come back into the game, we're at the same point. You want to just drop that wishing piece. You're not was wasting wishing pieces by doing this, which is the beauty about this. You want to say save, yes, and you want to keep an eye and you want to make sure that you you reset in the game before the text finishes. Now you want to just go back into the game again and you just rinse and repeat this process until you get that purple beam. So we'll be back when I do get the purple beam for this den. So there we go. It didn't take too long to actually get the purple beam that we wanted. So when you are able to do that, you want to just, the first thing to do is put your text back to fast. Um, and then obviously save your game in front of it here in case anything goes wrong and you lose the beam because the next step is checking out what it is. So it's Aerodactyl. We're actually going to go for Dracovish or Dracozolt in this one. So what you're going to do is do, do the date skip glitch. You click 
invite others don't be online when you're doing this and um, that'll save a bunch of you actually putting that in the comments and uh, you want to come down to settings date and time make sure that your synchronized clock via the internet is off date and time you want to come down just move the date forward one day hit your home button come back into the game and then quit out of the den and that will move 24 hours forward in the in the in the game and it will mean that the den has got a new pokemon in it so you can only do this with a wishing piece don't try this on dens that are just randomly spawning uh, every day uh, because they will just disappear when you change the day and they will respawn somewhere else so you have to do this with a wishing piece um, and it only requires one wishing piece um, and you just constantly do this datescape glitch until you hit the Pokemon that you want. We're getting to see a lot of nice Pokemon in these dens, which is good. So you can see all the fossils that we've had so far. We've had Aerodactyl, um, and that is Octovish, I think. Or Octozolt. Octozolt, that's the one. It's the one. I should know. It was the very first fossil that I received in my Pokemon Sword playthrough, and I actually played, played with it. It's a cool Pokemon, but I haven't really used it since then. Delibird, obviously, as well. There's a bunch of Pokemon here under the rare beam, but it is the fossils that we are going for. So you just kind of repeat this method over and over again until you you kind of hit the, the desired kind of target Pokemon that you're looking for. And uh, once you do that, we'll get to that stage. So we've got Draco's ult here. Um, now, I am looking for Draco's ult with its hidden ability um, and obviously Draco Vish. They both get Sand Rush now. So we'll go for this one in this example here. And uh, what you want to do when you've got the Pokemon that you, you're hunting for, like I said, you want to save your game in front of it now and then you want to enter the den. Now, to make this easier, what you can do is use a Pokemon with the Trace ability. So that's what we're going to be looking for now in your box. So yeah, there you see, I do have a God of War. I can use the God of War here. Uh, obviously, you can use anything that does have Trace. I'm not going to invite others, but just for the sake of this guide, I'm just going to go into the battle and we will, by having a Trace Pokemon at the start of your party, you're going to be able to see the ability straight away and then that will confirm whether it's the Pokemon you want to catch or if you want to reset and kind of continue those datescape glitches for another Pokemon. So as you're gonna see, Dracovish here, we are tracing and it is Sandrush. So like I said, this is where you are gonna get the hidden ability fossil Pokemon in the crown tundra so this den i've taken you to i've shown you where you can get to this den i've shown you all the steps up to now how you can manipulate the den make sure you get a red beam without wasting wishing pieces and also how you can change the pokemon in the den there is also the ability to shiny hunt this den as well you know the seed checkers are out there we've got one on our discord channel if you want to jump in and join the discord community and then use our free seed checker bot you're more than welcome to and you'll be able to shiny hunt for these fossil Pokemon, which is going to be very exciting because beforehand getting shiny fossils in Sword and Shield was very difficult. So it's definitely something I'll be doing. And uh, if you do give it a try, good luck with it. And I will link our seed check in video on how to do that whole process down in the description below. But we're going to end it there, friends. Have a great rest of your day. I'm not going to catch this Draco's ult because I am going to plan on shiny hunting this den and get myself a Draco's ult and a Draco Vish because they are so nice shiny. So I hope you can appreciate why I'm not catching it. But I have shown you through the trace ability that it does have Sand Rush and you can get them with their hidden abilities using this method. So have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your opinions on the ability patch and what you think of the pricing that they've labeled it with in the crown tundra personally me i think they priced it way too high i think they could have made it at least like a hundred dynamite or would have been more reasonable and i think a lot more players would have seen a lot more use from it so thank you so much for tuning in friends and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye